In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make unlimited eddies or money in Cyberpunk 2077 after patch 1.6 in September 2022. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Cyberpunk 2077. So this duplication glitch is very powerful. It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to give you the exact keystrokes so that you can do it with PC, Xbox, or PlayStation 5. Verified it both on my PlayStation 5 and Xbox also works with PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Uh, so the glitch is basically you can duplicate things. You can either duplicate them when you're buying them or when you're selling them. We're going to advocate that you duplicate them when you're selling them and then get money but you can also duplicate them when you're buying them and you can have huge ginormous stacks of loot which you can then later sell for cash and you will always have more money or the same amount of money but more loot uh, than you started out with and you all you need is two things that stack right so you need two items such as two max stocks, uh, two grenades, two or more. So the more you have, the better. The only things that you can't really take advantage of are the ammo. You can duplicate ammo, but there are limits to how much ammo you can have. But all the other things that have numbers beside them, you can do. You can't do it for weapons. You can't do it for armor items that don't stack. But everything else, food, grenades, max stocks, junk that stacks, you can do this for. And you can start out with just two. I'm going to start out with just two max stocks in the mega building right after completing the prologue. So V has just spent one night in the mega building and is coming down the stairs and he goes to a drop point. You can also do this at stores, but you might as well do it at drop points. And you can pull out as much as 20,000 eddies at a time after a few minutes of duplicating. All right, so when you get to the drop point, you find your item that stacks two or more. This is the max stock that we're going to use because that's all we had because this is a brand new character. So what you're going to do is you're going to select cell. So cell is the X on the PlayStation or the A on the Xbox. And then you're going to choose the max quantity to sell, but subtract one, right? So hit the D-pad up, select max quantity, then D-pad uh, to the left, minus one. So we've got two. If we have two, we're only going to sell one. But if we have 100, we're going to sell 99. And then we want to hit the X key again and hold on to the X key if you're playing on PlayStation or hold on to the A key if you're playing on Xbox. If you're playing on PC, you want to hold the space bar. You're going to keep holding that through this process. Then the next thing is you're going to hit confirm. But I'll say one thing, before you hit confirm, you want to make sure that the cursor is still hovering over the item that you're selling. So you do not want to move the cursor around to make these selections. So you keep that cursor over the item you're selling for when you hit sell, that sell button that brings up the menu. You choose the max quantity, subtract one, and then you hit the X on the PS5, the A on the Xbox, PS5, PS4, A on the Xbox, or space bar on the PC, and keep holding that. And then you're going to hit confirm, which is going to be square on the PlayStation, X on the Xbox, F on the PC. And keep on holding the X on the the PlayStation, the A on the Xbox, and the space bar for the PS or for the PC. And that will bring up the menu again. But the key is you want to keep holding that. It's not a timing thing, but if you keep holding those things until that menu comes up, then it's gonna work. If you don't if you kind of do it fast uh, or you do it out of order uh, then it's not going to work, right? So it's 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 more pressing things in order and holding them until the second menu comes up. 
So what happens is if you've got 99, you're gonna sell 99, and then you're gonna get the option to sell 100 again. And so it's gonna give you that option, and then you can take your fingers off the controls, select the max quantity, so you sold 99, you get the option to sell 100, this is the duplicate, 100, you can do the same thing again. So hold on to the X for the PlayStation, the A for the Xbox, or the space bar for the PC, and then hit confirm, which is the square for the PlayStation, the X for the Xbox, and the F for the PC. And then you've sold all that and you've duplicated it. And then after that, you just buy it back normally, right? So you're just gonna buy back the what you've duplicated from the drop point, right? And so the, the drop point's gonna see its balance go down and then back up to 20,000. Right. If you've not done any other transactions on the drop point, it's going to start out with 20000 When you buy this stuff back, its, it's balance is going to go back to 20000 You want to keep on duplicating this until you can wipe out the drop point so that it, it'll have no money left. Uh, so for this, it's like... 4,000, something like that, 4,000, because each one's worth three when you sell it uh, for the bounce back MK1. But for other items, it may be only one, and so maybe you'll need to sell like 7,000, right? You'll maybe need to duplicate up to 7,000 to get to 20,000. And the last time you sell them, you wanna make sure that you do not sell more than 20,000 worth. Right, right. So each time you do the duplication process, holding those buttons until you get the second menu and then sell everything in the second menu and then buy it back. And But the last time you gotta make sure that you don't sell more than 20,000 eddies worth to the drop point because it just won't go through. So uh, if you mess this up, you just have to do it again, but it, it's not gonna be the end of the world or anything, so don't freak out. But so you can see that I'm kind of, I am doing this, I'm trying to get as close as I can to get to 20,000. And then the other thing is that you've got this big stack of items now that's in the drop. If you, if you skip time, you can refresh the drop point, but you won't have a stack of items. So what I recommend is that you take out like $3,000, 3,000 eddies worth of items, something like that, 1,500 worth of eddies, of uh, worth of items, at least a thousand, so you don't have to duplicate so much. So you only have to do like three or four duplications the next time you go back to the drop point because it doesn't take that long to skip time, but it does. It takes longer the first time you duplicate it, and then after that, you can get out between fifteen and nineteen thousand each time fairly quickly with only a few duplications and buybacks and sales. Now, I like this method of just getting the eddies, uh, you know and you can get hundreds of thousands, even millions of eddies in a fairly short period of time. I think you should make at least 200,000 eddies per hour just doing this with the cash method. But uh, TZPDM recommends that you kind of build up multiple stacks and build up multiple stacks and you don't actually get very much money out, but you have like millions of dollars of stacks of junk items or grenades or max stocks or whatever uh, and use that whenever you need to buy something. I don't really like that um, personally because I think that adds more time to your transactions and then when we're getting to that uh, that starts making me think that maybe you, you're in the territory where the crafting glitch is better. Um, I think it's fairly quick to get the the eddies this way uh, from the the duplications uh, but the idea with the the TZ PDM puts out is that once you've got a really a uh, lot of money you can do this in reverse right that you can duplicate the items that are that you're buying back right and that's going to give a lot of money to the drop point and so if the drop point if you give them like a hundred thousand then you can get that hundred thousand back at the end by selling this stuff but you can while you're giving them a lot of money you can build up multiple stacks of different items that you have two or more of and you can have like a millions worth of one grenade millions worth of another grenade 
millions worth of eddies worth of a max stock and then just sell those off when you need funds when you're doing upgrades or buying ammo or doing anything i personally like to have the eddies i think they're just a little bit easier to transact with so i kind of like the skipping time method so you can skip time and the the drop box will reset so and I think that is pretty good. But you you try it out and see what you like better. Uh, it, the the thing is, once you have like really big stacks, is they of course are really easy to duplicate because they double each time. Uh, so that's one of the benefits. You just have to make sure if you if you're putting money into the cash uh, the drop point, you want to make sure you take it all out before you leave and skip time. I think this is a really good money exploit. You should also check out my uh, my video about putting dead bodies in trunks to get uh, money. That still works after patch 1.60. It may not give you the exact same amount of money that it did in 1.5, but it's still that location still works as do other locations if you ever come across loot a looted body that has a lot of eddies in it like hundreds or uh, thousands of eddies you can do that and run back and forth I, the crafting glitches also work it helps if you're deep into the crafting tree to take advantage of the crafting glitches but those also work after patch 1.60 so there's a lot of infinite money methods out there I think this one is really good because you can do it so early and you get so much so fast so early and it will also just let you duplicate things that you need a lot of so you can do this with crafting supplies that say you want to have a lot of crafting supplies um you can duplicate your ammo although there are limits to how much ammo you can duplicate and uh whatever you whatever you want as long as it stacks twice it won't do it for weapons or or armor items though subscribe to linus wilson channel we give you the secrets to crush cyberpunk 2077 let me know how it goes for you in the comments I also found the video by DPJ very helpful on this topic, uh, and I think that this glitch was kind of being up, up, uh, exploited in 1.5, at least by John Hoback. And check out uh, John Hoback's channel. I think I'll put a link to his video in the description. Uh, he could use a few more subs. Bye-bye.